So yeah. what's up with this uh, Sesh movie? Sesh movie is our independent movie that we paid for, me and my bro Drew and my other production partners too. We got Eric Roberts, Miguel Nunez from Joanna Man and Street Fighter. We got Debo, RIP Tiny Lester. Uh, we got hella Jamie Kennedy, Malibu's Most Wanted. We got a crazy Fredo Star. Oh, we got a Federal Star. We got a whole cast of A list actors. We have the best weed movie that's ever came out. I want you tonight to watch the Sesh movie on Amazon. I wish that I knew about this. Hold yeah, you're going to love it. And you can check the trailer out on YouTube. Just type in Sesh movie on YouTube. But I want you to watch the movie tonight. And it explains everything going on. It's just we, all about the weed culture in general. Bro, listen, I filmed this shit five years ago and it's the same shit going on today. You'd be like, damn, it's everything you just talked about, bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, people oh, love the movie, shit. though. I got to check that got out. Got Sesh movie two coming. Framing Day. We got a couple more movies coming, too. And what was the, the root of your feud with High Times? Well, that's what I was talking about earlier. Basically, what happened was I was on these private jets. So that was pretty much how the brand amplified again was getting on Jet Smarter. It was a private jet club. You remember it, Jet Smarter, or no? Uh, I remember, yeah, I remember hearing about it. Well, yeah. they have similar stuff now, right? Yeah, they have like Aero and other programs too, but basically Jet Smarter helped me bubble up big time. So I'd get on these private jets. I paid 8000 to get on this Jet Smarter club, and I would just book jets all day, jump on the jets. I'd wait for everybody to get off the jet, and I'd be like, yo, Chicago, I'm out here today. How many pounds do you guys need? <laughs> yo, I flooded the whole, the whole private jets filled with pounds, and I would just paint this illusion, theater mm. of the mind, the art of perception, even though a lot of OGs, a lot of my big dogs and my big homies didn't like that. Mm. And there's people that don't f with me to this day just because of me playing games and having fun and creating controversy. They hated that, bro. They still hate that. They saw it like snitching? Nah, not that. Like, I'm giving out the game. Like, okay, the movie Blow, they brought pounds on the plane. Like, it, it, who cares what's inside my suitcase? Let me have fun. Let me do me. Wrestling is wrestling, real or fake. You know what I mean? Right. It's like it's like that, bro. It's kind of funny because that's what all rappers do. They yeah. sort of like paint this picture for you that they're yeah. a killer yeah. or whatever. Meanwhile, they're like hoping you Plies, don't. Look at Plies, bro. <laughs> Plies went to medical school and he was so good at talking to the streets and like he was amazing poet, bro. He's amazing with that shit. Right. Yeah, and it was all. I don't want to say it was all cat, but it was. Basically, in a life I guess he wasn't living. Okay, and so no then, disrespect to Plies, I love Plies. And dude. so high, high Times took aim at you because of the private jet. No, shit, no, or? I was on the private jet with the owner Adam at the time, and me and him were boys, bro. It was all cool, and I'm like, yo, let's do this harvest festival. We'll do a harvest cup. I had these ideas. I, I wanted to do festivals at the time. I'm like, yo, I can bring all the trappers out. There'll be thousands of pounds moving. We'll make so much money. We could charge everybody for booths and get rappers and everybody performing and get some bands. It's gonna be dope. He's like, yeah. I'm like, he's like, I'm not fucking with it. I'm like, ah, damn, bro. He's like, yeah, hit me up in a couple of weeks and shit. So one day I get an email. It says, oh, here's your sponsorship deck for the Harvest Cup. And I'm like, hold on. I call the, call the reps up. I'm like, yo, bro, this was my concept and this was my idea, bro. Like, I want, I want to be a partner on this. They're like, nah, we'll give you a discounted booth, though, if you can sell tickets and we'll give you a ticket link. And I'm like, yo, put me on the phone with Adam or Matt. They were the owners at the time. And Basically, I started going fucking crazy, and I started posting hella shit on the internet, which at the time I regret doing. You know, I should have handled it outside the internet, you know, and then other companies were going through it with them. Kush Doc, Dr. K was going through it with them. Other brands were going through it with uh, High Times. They finessed. They did all types of crooked shit. So I, nobody fucks with High Times anymore, you know. I'd love to help them rebuild their company, too. High Times, I'm willing to intern for you guys, too. That being said, uh, I love the brand, but basically what happened was one day we were doing a pop-up in Hollywood, and we got raided. Mm. And it's actually on YouTube. It's called the Hollywood Raid, Cali Plug Raid and shit. And we got raided on Hollywood Boulevard. It was hot boys of fuck. It was a, an illegal raid. They just ran in, stole our weed, put us all in handcuffs. There was literally 100 people inside. Crazy thing was Swifty Blue was there. You know Swifty Blue? Great man. I hope he's doing all right, too. But he was actually at that pop-up, too, that day. Okay. So that's crazy. He, had, he got arrested? He got arrested, too. And they put a gun charge on him, and it wasn't even his gun. Somebody threw a gun on the floor. And I wish Swifty could come here and tell you the story. And Swifty's such a G, though. I'm telling you, like, he wasn't even sweating. I'm like, bro, they just, they're giving you this gun case. He's like, nah, I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, he three bet, days later. He been doing this. Three, yo, been doing this. <laughs> three days later, they threw out the case. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Because, yeah, I'm thinking that is, that's the first thing I thought of is like, damn, if you raid a random fucking weed smoke session, you probably go they find do, a man. whole bunch of guns. Yeah, the crooked ass cops, man, they hit that shit. They take all that shit, man. They fucking go resell that, give it to the little cousins and brothers. So you never got the weed back? I never got the weed back. Damn. Yeah, I never got the weed back. I probably lost hurt. like 20, 30 pounds. It wasn't even that much at the time. 20, 30 pounds. We were yeah. first doing $5 grams, so we'd have lines down the street. That's how I first disrupted the seshes. Uh -huh. I came in the seshes. I was like, oh, you can just do a sesh without, 
You can get a table at high times without having a permit or this. Oh, you need a seller's permit. You need this. Prop 215. It was all bullshit. And I'm like, oh, I got my table set up. And we got a tablecloth. And the tablecloth said United States Cali Plug, like the postal logo. Mm -hmm. So it was real disruptive because people seen the postal logo. And then I had all my friends, all my workers and team dressed up as postman. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like me, Ty, Drew, Nubs, a couple of my other boys. We'd all dress up like postman and people loved it. They loved the gimmick. And the first day we opened at 420 Nurses in Canoga, shout out to 420 Nurses in Canoga. Second time was at Secret Sesh. The first couple of times we opened, we had a line, ah, first days. And the, the animosity, the jealousy, the envy, the hate was already there. Mm. But people seemed we were helping the Custies. And I was losing money. I was buying pounds for 21, 22, losing money, selling $5 grams. I didn't care. I just wanted to fucking disrupt and have a, a sharehold at the sessions. And, you know, and then from there, I, I segmented to do my own pop-ups. Mm. It was crazy because I had lines and people would come, one gram, one gram, one gram, one gram. And there'd be people in line, hostile. They're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? So I'm like, you know what? I'm prepackaging everything now. And the half ounces, ounces, bro, I'm done with the fucking grams, bro. Yeah. Lost, lost some custies, but still they, uh, they elevated with us a lot of the custies. Selling grams. Like, what the fuck are you yeah, doing bro. with your life if you're buying a gram at a time? Well, that's why right now I only sell zips now. I only do zips. Yeah. I usually do $100 zips or they go up a little bit depending on what city I'm in. But we always got the best price and best quality, hands down. No one's fucking with us. Right. Okay. So what happened with Big Chief? Well, basically, MJ, you know MJ, too. Yeah. Uh, and I hate even bringing it up and giving you this type of promotion, but he's really a piece of shit fraud, <laughs> and I'm going to break it down to you, bro. And AD and the whole fig guys, your old, your old workers, employees that don't like you or whatever, no disrespect to them, but they don't know he's a fraud, too. So basically, MJ was my bud tender. My baby shower, he was managing one of my warehouses. It was like the only time my guard was down. It was during my baby shower. My warehouse got raided. So I didn't even put that on MJ in them. But it, the energy was weird. The energy was weird. Keep in mind, MJ was living in a studio apartment with like five people. And he was working a job at CVS. He didn't even tell me he was working a job at CVS just to make his dad happy or some shit. And basically what happened was the spot got hit. Boom, I took a loss, probably like 200 bands. I wasn't tripping. But it was during the baby shower, bro. I was like, fuck, right, whatever. So I started pushing MJ away slowly and slowly and slowly. I'm like, bro, I can't, I can't fuck with y'all, bro. I took an L with y'all. And I already took a couple L's with him before that. So what, you thought that he was somehow responsible? I, I can't prove it, but at the same time, it was like, it doesn't make a difference. You were, you were responsible for the location and got hit, and I, the energy's on you now. Hmm. And the thing is, he's made way more money than that. That's like a little L to him, you know what I mean? Okay. So basically what happened was he had my Instagram page on his phone. He changed the name on the Instagram page to Big Chief Extracts. So their Instagram page is actually the Cali Plug Instagram page. Wow. Isn't that fucked up? So their whole base is from my followers. Like everything's from me. All his logistics and games, everything's from me. And he wouldn't even look me in the eyes, bro. And yeah. I still got love for him, you know. But at the end of the day, if you want to address it, address it. They're a huge company. They made hundreds of millions of dollars. I engineered the partnership of the CEOs, the guys that got together, I got pushed out, didn't make a dollar. I don't care, bro. Why did they tripping. push you out? Well, I didn't get pushed out. I just didn't fuck with them, bro. I'm like, y'all don't fuck with y'all. Y'all some frauds, bro. Uh -huh. And that was it. Damn. But I mean, I should have received some type of residuals or something off uh, engineering the partnership of the company. And you know, he can't deny this, bro. Wow. Yeah, none that's, of this. Bro. That's crazy. I and never they don't even this. know this. The guys all wearing their chains, they don't even know this shit. You know what I mean? A lot of big chiefs. And chief he can chains. pull up anytime, too. He knows where I'm at. How come I never got a big chief chain? Because you weren't. You were Cali plugging it the whole time, fam. Hey. <laughs> weed, I didn't weed even wars, know it. <laughs> weed wars. But nobody, nobody smokes their shit or uses their shit anyways. It's just a whole scam, bro. Damn, now Big Chief's yeah. going to have to fire back. No, they they can't, bro. They don't even got a voice. They can't even come here. You don't think? Don't even stop. Next no, one, next, one. Not, next one. They, next one. They don't I, need to come here. Get, they got their boys over yeah, there. No, they're getting too much promotion now, bro. But they okay. now you know that chain you're wearing is, is a fraud behind that chain, just so they know, okay? Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I look forward to Let's, seeing how this dialogue proceeds. Yeah, I hope it does, bro. I hope it does proceed.